All right, so back on January 8th, uh, my wife and I went to Hobby Lobby, and I bought this two-gallon jar. It's a nice tea jar, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this was kind of in response to a video I'd seen on YouTube, and I think it was by Skull Aquatics. Um, and he was raising out brine shrimp, and it's something I wanted to do, and I've tried to do a couple times with no real success. So, knowing this was coming, I think a couple days earlier, I ordered uh, the salt he was using, this Instant Ocean. I got it at Amazon. And then I also bought um, one of these hydrometers. We went to uh, PetSmart later that day, and I saw this on the shelf, and I thought, well, they go together because they're both, you know, uh, Instant Ocean. And what he said on his YouTube channel, the salinity, uh, the specific gravity comes out to, let me see if I can put my fingers somewhere in there, somewhere around 1.024 to 1.025. Uh, that turned out to be just short of a cup of Instant Ocean in two gallons of right out of the tap tap water. No, uh, um, no dechlor or anything like that. Just a, just short of a cup full of the Instant Ocean and two gallons of plain old tap water. And I let that bubble for a day with just an air stone in it, just plain old cheap air stone, one of those. Um, and then the next day, because I got impatient, I took a little bit of the aquarium co-op eggs that I'm also doing a comparison against French shrimp direct eggs. I just took a little bit of those and I put them on the end of a spoon. So I have very little, uh, you know, not even an eighth of a teaspoon. Uh, gosh, I don't know if you could, you know, like a pinch, just kind of a pinch. Uh, and I dropped that in and they floated around for a day or three. And now there are brine shrimp, little baby brine shrimp in here. They are hatched out. They are swimming all over the place. Um, I've been feeding them just a small pinch of spirulina powder every couple days now. This is... Uh, Today's the 15th. I set the eggs on the 9th, the day after. Uh, so that's what, six days. So and the last time I tried this, I tried this in a five gallon can, uh, aquarium. And uh, and they, they lasted a couple days. I just took a squirt out of a, my brine shrimp hatchery and dropped that in. And the uh, salinity was guesswork and I was just using table salt. Uh, so it crashed, it didn't survive. And it started to smell like low tide in the garage. So I cleaned that up, thought I'd start over, and then uh, fortunately I saw Skull Aquatics video, and I thought, well, this is the ticket, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And so far, so good, and hopefully in another week and a half, two weeks, st should start seeing adult-sized brine shrimp here, and they will start to reproduce, assuming the balance stays. Um, I topped it off the other day, got a little low, got down to, uh, there's my finger, about there. So I just topped it off the tank water from the tank that's next door uh, to it here. And uh, it, and I was also getting a lot of, uh, I had the air up a little high, so I was getting a lot of uh, uh, splash out on the edge of the tank and down the rim here. So, and I noticed it's white, so it's taking salt with it. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the salinity uh, until I get the, you know, the bubbles adjusted. I adjusted them way down here, so I think I'm still getting a little mist coming out, but it's not as bad. But we'll have to keep an eye on that salinity to make sure we stay about 1.025 uh, specific gravity, which kind of comes out to somewhere around just short of 34 parts per million if you're into that, or I'm sorry, parts per thousand if you're into that. So it's, it's probably pretty salty. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you, and I'll keep you posted on this one. This looks like a fun project. Sea monkeys. That's what the hell they're called, sea monkeys. So anyway, as always, uh, questions, comments, smart-ass remarks, let me know. And uh, look forward to hearing from you.